Welcome back to Better Kansas City. You're looking to up your cocktail game. We've got a pair of winners for you, one to impress and the other that is perfect for beginners. Andrew Olson from Jay Rieger and Company is here to show us how to shake up old dogs, new tricks, and a simplified Bloody Mary. So which one do you want to start off with first here, Mr. Olson? Uh, we'll start off with the shaken one. It's going to be the old dog, new tricks. Okay. Kind of a, a play on a greyhound or a salty dog. Nice okay. brunch drink. Yeah, that, and that's like, well, like a little grapefruit and vodka, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So uh, for this, we're doing uh, a little bit of our uh, premium vodka. We're doing one ounce of this okay. with a little bit of Aperol, uh, a little Italian aperitif, uh, slightly bitter. So that's got a little bitter to it? Okay. A little bit bitterness, a little rhubarb, kind of grapefruit flavor. We're going to use this uh, Giffard Pamplemousse as another grapefruit liqueur. Yeah. Kind of just reinforce those grapefruit flavors. A little uh, lime juice to balance out the sweetness of the liqueurs. Mm -hmm. And additionally, going to add some simple syrup some to simple add syrup. some body to it as well. So only f uh, five ingredients? Four yep. ingredients. Five, five ingredients. ingredients. Okay. Pretty easy. So uh, with this cocktail, we're just going to shake. Um, and then we'll strain it over some ice. Okay. And are those all equal parts there then too? Or? Uh, it's going to be one ounce of vodka, half ounce each of the liqueurs, and then okay. a three quarter lime, half ounce simple syrup. All right. You remembered all that, right? Yes, I did. Okay. I wrote it down in my head right Perfect. here. Perfect. You're hired. <laughs> Well, speaking of getting hired, uh, over at Jay Rieger, we were there for the grand opening here a while back and been over there a couple times. You guys have got a great spot there. It seems like they'd be the hip place to hang out at uh, anymore. What's going on at, at down at the distillery here uh, before the end of the year? Yeah, so uh, before the end of the year, we've got multiple cocktail classes we're doing. We've got New mm -hmm. Year's that we're going to do a pretty large party at. Um, we've always got some sort of like community cocktails. It's kind of our our way of doing some philanthropic work with the community and we okay. typically give some proceeds back from uh, the day of sales of, yeah. of that day which is really fun. And my favorite part is still that you have the, the little museum area over to the, because you have such a historic building oh, yeah. down there too, it's really cool to check out and of course you got to slide on the slide, right? Oh, you have to. You have to. You absolutely It's have like to. written in the contract once you That's walk right. in the door. Alright, the other one, this is going to be kind of a, a mix on a Bloody Mary, right? Yeah, so this is, this is straight up our uh, kind of traditional Bloody Mary. This one specifically mm -hmm. I'm doing uh, more of a Red Snapper, Red Snapper being a Bloody Mary that has gin. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's a little bit. Because uh, it's of typically our, a vodka cocktail, right? Typically. Yeah. You've got red snappers, bloody bowls, bloody Maria's kind of mix and match there. Mm -hmm. uh, so on top of the gin, we're going to pour a little bit of the, the Casey Cannon Co. Pickle Bloody Mary mix. How cool uh, is that? You're using like local local yeah. companies and they're, here. With... They're neighbors of ours. They're right down the street. Uh, Tim Tui. Yeah. Uh, he's the proprietor. And if you look at his email signature, it says he's the pickle smith. Oh. Uh, but this is their pickled Bloody Mary mix. <laughs> We use their pickled uh, green tomatoes and their sriracha green beans. So it's got a little bit of kick to it then, right? A little bit, yeah. So it's still a good... Bre uh, Bloody Mary's of always, always like the, the one I remember drinking at tailgate parties where you cook up your breakfast burrito, then right. you have your Bloody Mary over here yeah. ready to go for football, right? Absolutely. So this would be a good one maybe for Sunday morning, getting ready for the Chiefs game? Oh, absolutely. I had one last week during the Green Bay game, and it was a little bit later in the day, but... Mm -hmm. There's never a bad time. Never for a, a bad Mary. time for a Bloody Mary. You heard it from the expert himself. And then a shout out again to Tim Tui, our picklesmith. That's it. I'm going to have to call him that next time he comes on the show. <laughs> so, all right, Andrew, well, let's uh, let's cheers to this Friday, to the weekend. We appreciate your time cheers, here and you being friend. here today. Uh, Belinda, you can do the next interview, and Andrew and I are going to hang over here and drink in the kitchen. Oh, you guys have fun.